<laughs> well, this is my Jerry Rig camera, guys. We are uh, going to use this until I can find a camera replacement. I don't have a viewfinder anymore. So this is it. Thanks. Okay. Now we'll face it. Where are we? About face height? That's about right. We'll see how it works. Alright. I don't see any indication of, of uh, stuff going on, but anyway, this is the second test to see if the camera works at all with a mirror duct tape to the top of the camera because I don't have a viewfinder anymore. Number two. Alright, we're working on this old pump. I don't know where to start. Uh, it's a five horsepower engine, but it's it's a much bigger pump for the engine than uh, than you'd ever imagine. It is a General TT nine zero nine one made in Italy. Uh, what happened was you're not going to believe this, guys. It's craziness. On the more expensive pumps, they have ceramic plungers instead of stainless steel plungers that go in and out of the brass body and create pressure. There's three valves in behind here and there's three valves in no, three valves in behind these bolts and three valves in behind these bolts and they they try to compress the liquid water but it doesn't work because you can't compress the liquid and it jumps it up to 3,000 pounds per square inch if you can imagine that. So I'm going to put this um, Uh, ceramic ring back on with this screw or with this washer, sorry. Excuse me. You guys aren't going to believe this, but this is the price, $104.84 with tax. Can you guys believe that? So I'm going to just moisten this one with me. Mm, a little tighter. That's good, probably. So what happened was, I think my pal Gord, who is the owner of this pump now, because I got my own pump three years ago, uh, he used Pump Saver. You know the aerosol can with antifreeze in it? And uh, he, uh, you can see, when you put this head on, where are we? You put the head on like this, the fresh water comes in and through each one, and it didn't quite make it to the third one, and it cracked it. And here is the old ceramic, here's the old ceramic, right? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't drop the new one. $104, that's about $85 US, right? Now I could have ordered them online, but I uh, I didn't. They were 82 bucks, and I wasn't sure about the quality. So now I'm just going to clean things up a little bit, and I'll come right back to you. I think we're lined up pretty good, and we're going to put this head back on. We're not going to replace any of the rubbers inside. Uh, let me just give you a quick shot at that. I tried to convince my buddy Gord to buy a new pump. We're putting, yeah, the instructions are in, in Italian, eh? But we're putting these bolts on through the brass head into there. 22 inch, 22 foot pounds, it said. Which sounds like a lot to me, man. But, let's do this. I tightened these up just about, all about the same. There's no speck on that.
Good. Now we're going to put them in with this impact, but I'm not going to tighten them up, okay? I think I'm going to start on the uh, inside. No torquing. Five millimeter, five millimeter uh, bolt, and I think it's an M8. Let's just loosen that one off a little bit. Good. I'm going to just change the position of this a little bit so you guys can see more. Hopefully. And we're going to lift it up just a little bit. Looks like something's leaking oil, or is that water? Oh, that's oil. Okay. So let's finish this up. Now, 22 foot pounds sounds like a lot to me. So we're going to get our uh, torque wrench up and see. Okay, we're going to use this. And I'll come right back to you. Alright guys. I got pressure on the hose, I think. I'm going to shove this in and see if it leaks. Just at the handle here. Perfect. Just wiped up the water. Now the handle's not leaking anymore. Very good. Let's start it up and see if it runs. So we have a switch over here somewhere. It's been three years since I used this one, so forgive me. One, choke. Two, bunny rabbit. Three. So there's only just a small spot of water underneath the hose adapter. We can deal with that. So, so now I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go get some engine bright, which is a cleaner. I'm going to clean this off and then I think I'm going to service it. Thanks guys. All right. I, I like to use this engine degreaser. Engine bright degreaser works good. We're just going to clean this guy up a little bit first. It's been a few years, eh? Okay, I'll let that sit for a few minutes. Hey. 
Hey, I might as well clean my my uh, pender lid, eh? Okay, just let that sit for a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I've decided to use my own uh, pressure pump for this because I don't like to run this one while it's tilted. So I'll be right there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna just start this guy up again and wash off anything that's left. Should start even though I got it wet. That's pretty much it. I'm going to just change the oil in it now, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, my friends, we're going to get this oil out of this engine. I don't know if it's a 12 or a 13. It is a 12. And I might as well get a socket because the ratchet wrench won't fit over the, won't fit over the bolt. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to change the oil. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I didn't do that, did I? Be right with you. Let's cheat. Oh, I hope that wasn't me making that cracking sound. Yeah, back in front of you. Been a few years since the oil was 
since the oil was changed in this guy. Nothing's easy. If it was easy though, everybody would be doing this, right? Good. Let's have a little fun. I'm going to put a tiny bit of thread uh, anti-seize on this bolt. There. I put some on the base of the head too. Good. There was a washer there. Okay, now we can put this back up. Put some oil in the engine. And then we're going to do the pump. What did I do with the... Uh, Fun, right there on the ground, right where it's supposed to be. Okay, we're using high mileage 1030 oil in this baby. Should hold a half a liter. Trudy's going to go out of the garden and I'm going to go find the lid for that engine. I put it up here. Is something hiding on me? No. Okay. I'll, I'll find that lid and come. Alright. Last part. Spilling fuel. But I'm going to take this bung off the pump, this brass bung. And we're going to drain the oil out of the, out of the pump too. There we go. Just one of those, eh? It's got a washer. It's 
Let's get that oil out of there. Oh, cool. That should drain perfectly. Oop. That should drain perfectly out of there. That should do it. It should be warm. better seal this time. Okay. No, I wonder how much I have. We're gonna, we're gonna put this pump down. Wipe up the fuel. Let's get these wrenches out of here. Put some oil in that pump. Be right back. Take it to midway on the bubble. Thirty weight oil non detergent is what I use in these. little bit. Ooh, too much. Dying it? Well, maybe not. on the level. Are you guys on the level? I might have to take out a little tiny bit. More level this way. Yeah, I'm going to have to remove just a tiny, tiny bit. How are we going to do that? Well, gosh, you know, I think we can probably leave it. It's still low on this side, so... No, I'm going to take out a tiny bit. You don't need to see that. Okay, I guess you do need to see it. It's not taken. <laughs> That's all it took. One more. There's a lady behind us. <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. Okay, the only other thing is to check the air filter. Might have got some gas on it, eh? A little bit. I think I'm going to change the air filter too. This might even be water, right? This might even be water. We'll dry it out and use it on a beater. So the next time you see this guy, okay, let me just take you right in on that eyeglass right there. The, the oil is halfway, if you can see there.
All right, my friends, this is it. Water's hooked back up. Yes, there's a small leak on the hose side. I won't worry about that. It's been tilted, so we might have to choke it. That's a wrap! So thanks for watching this one with me guys. It was fun! I did not think that just that ceramic replacement would fix it, but I guess that's the difference between when you're working on a good quality piece and when you're not. Thanks a lot.